So this is my bait table today for fishing the PVA bag, uh, otherwise known as the tea bag. I've got quite a few already made up, ready to go. Nice, tight little bags, ready to go. I'll show you how I make them a bit later on. Baits I've made my bags out of are a mixture of four mil new mainline match cell pellets and in between, in mixed in with those is the two mil mainline cell pellets as well. And baits I've got are maggots, corn, and the mainline dumbbell wafters in tuna and cell flavors. And these are some of the hook baits combinations I'm gonna be using today. So on the top and the left hand side, you've got double red maggot banded, this one just here. And then we've got corn, single grain of corn on a speed stop. And then we've got the cell boily and also an eight mil pellet as well. So gonna give all these options a go today and uh, see how we get on. Let's do some fishing. Hi guys, welcome to another session of All Tackled Up TV. I'm here at Sam's Lakes today um, and I'm gonna be what's called, as known as the tea bag. It's a PVA mesh bag. Um, mine consists of two and four mil pellets. Um, I'm gonna be fishing short with a small half ounce bomb to a one ounce bomb to the little island just over here. I'm also gonna feed a longer line, which I'm gonna also do the pellet cone. Um, it's gonna be two parts to a new winter series. So part one's PVA bag short and maybe a little bit longer, and then obviously pellet cone to give that a go as well. Um, I've arrived here today, the water level is down, um, but I've seen a few little bit, bits of mud coming up off the bottom, so I'm sure these fish are gonna want a bit of food. So let's hook a bag on and let's see how we go. A little indication straight away on the tip. I cannot believe it, we're in literally days away from November and look at the sun, about 12 degrees at the moment, so probably still get away with a method to be fair but I just want to give this a go and just see see how we get on The main difference is with PVA bags over the method. Uh, the method usually every 90 seconds to two minutes I'm reeling in and I'm putting back out. Um, this time of year, because you just never know, even though it's still fairly mild, you don't know how the fish are going to respond. So we've had a couple of cold nights. So the difference is with a PVA bag, I would leave it anything up to 10, 15 and in the real cold weather, 25 minutes before I check it and then move spot. So. fish on, there we go, there's my first fish, feels like it could be a little skimmer possibly or a small carp. Tighten that drag up. As I said I'm using a small Guru three quarter ounce bomb at the moment. 
and it's just perfect just to plop in front of me next to that island where a few fish are always going to hang about especially in the colder months give me a run for my money this fish right, it's a nice carp little carp what we're looking for especially this in the winter months Hopefully, it's going to be the first of a few and a good day. Lovely little carp, happy days. I'm using a 12 inch hook length from the bomb with an X-safe white elastic. Obviously if I start getting amongst the, some of the bigger fish in here, I'll go up to a black. Um, but we'll see what happens. So you just bag. You can do it two ways. You can pull the hook length through, which I do do a lot. Um, but I still like, to, I'm quite happy just to pull it through the bag, twist it, and then put it back through the mesh again. So. So once through the bag, twist it, back through the bag again and there we go she's ready to go in the autumn if you are getting fish see signs of fish and you think they're feeding don't be frightened to just ping a couple of eight mils over but when i say a couple i mean two or three and see how they respond don't go lashing it in like you would like pellet wagger in the summer or bomb fishing because you could just kill it completely again on the tip it's always a good sign that fish are mooching about especially around your bait and with that PVA bag you're just leaving a tiny little parcel for them to come in and hoover up and then bang that big target bait in the middle there we go oh no line bite that time And there we go, round goes the tip, wang. Just woke up a few other fish round by that island, so I've definitely got fish in the swim. This one's going up the lake. nice little commons at the moment she's a perfect weight building fish
Okay guys, so this is the rig I'm using today. Um, the rig basically consists of a Guru one third of an ounce 10 gram inline lead. Um, the, the brilliant leads, I'm currently using the white X-Safe elastic insert in there. Just cushions the blow, especially as the colder months come in. Fish don't generally fight as hard, even though the sun's come out today and they have been giving me a bit of jip. Um, and literally to that I've got a 12, 12, sorry, a 15 inch hook length of Guru 017, because still there's some big fish in here still, 017, and that's going down to a QM1 size 14 hook in a bait band. Um, with that, as you can see, I've got my PVA bag, which I've gone through the bag twice with a twist and the eight mil pellet, which has at the moment been the, the scoring bait. I've also caught several fish on the tuna pink, which is good. Uh, a couple on the cell white and a couple on the dead maggot, but the dead maggot in the band was getting me a few more skimmers, um, which don't get me wrong, isn't a bad thing, especially when you're trying to catch a bit of a weight in the winter. So that, that's the PVA bag with a pellet on there. And then I'll show you up a bit closer a bit later on the rig in, in its entirety. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We've had several fish on the PVA bag today. To be honest, with the, the sun coming out and it's probably up to about 12 degrees, 13 degrees now, um, it's, it's just they want that small parcel of food. Really, I could probably put a method on, but I wanted to, sh wanted to go through and show you this. So when the, obviously the cold really does come in, um, but also to show you that even in the autumn weather, it's well worthwhile having a crack with it. Let's have another cast. Feather the, always feather the bag in. A nice gentle double block with that and the little and the lead. Always feather the bag in, just so you get that nice constant double plop and it overtakes the lead. So it's out in front of the lead. If you don't do that, it can sometimes fall behind or tangle. Um, same with bomb and pellet fishing as well, but it's more apparent when you're fishing a cone or a bag because you've got that added weight, so it just as to not cause tangles in the air. Um, let's see if we can catch one. several fish here already today. Um, best bait has been so far the 8mm pellet followed closely by the tuna dumbbell wafter by Mainline. So it's a little bit warmer than I wanted it to be really. I know it's weird saying that but I wanted you to really see the effectiveness of PFBA in cold weather. It's still fairly chilly but that, that chilliness from this morning is now gone and we're probably up into 12 degrees. But we'll keep plugging along and then we'll have a go on the cone. fishing about three foot away from the island. Due to the low water level, it's really, really shallow close to the island. That's normally where I'd like to be, especially in the winter months. But we're getting indications anyway, so, and we've had a few fish away from the island. I will try close, but I think I've only probably got about a foot of water.
winter, just play them nice and gentle. Some 10 foot Preston monster feet cart feeder I'm using today. Nice short rod, I can bring them up close to the net. And to be fair, you don't need anything bigger to, for this sort of chuck. doing its work, pushing in every little blow. There he is, in the bag. I like to do when I'm PVA bag fishing is, is use the goo or the mainline match cell as like a glug over the top. It can be the difference to getting a quick bite um, or just a bite at all in winter. It's easy just to apply a little bit across the bag. About the size of a 1p and then you're ready to go. Indications are there straight away, straight away indications. Feel that elastic and the rod tip doing all the work. And that was with the goo this time. Got a quicker bite, so I'm going to try that again in a minute. And she's in the net.
happy days. So I'm here fishing, this is part one, the PBA bag I've been fishing today. Gonna do obviously show you part two as well, which is gonna be the pellet cone. And then we're gonna go into part three and part four as we get colder in the winter, just showing you some winter techniques. And my gear for today has been the 10 foot Preston Monster Carp feeder rod. I'm using a 4012A Dower TDR reel. This has got six pound drag, Guru drag line on there. Um, I just love this line, it's never let me down. It's really, really good for, it, for its size. Um, I use it in the summer on, on WAG as well, and then eight, I use the eight pound version when I'm really hauling on method and bits and pieces. Um, so from down from the main line, so the six pound drag line, been alternating between one third of an ounce and an ounce bomb, dependent on how far I'm chucking either to the island or, or past today. Um, this is coupled with an X-Safe inline elasticated tube, which just cushions all the, it's really great, especially for the winter, it's just not gonna lose fish. And from that, I've got a 15 inch hook length, um, which is Guru N-Gage 017. Might seem a little bit heavy, but we're still, it's still warmish today, and there's some big fish in this lake. That's coupled to a QM4, QM114 hook with a bait band, which have been alternating through the different baits today. Uh, exactly the same setup for the cone as well, um, popped up bread and bits like that on, as we're going to as, as the series winter series goes on. So thanks for watching. Hi guys, yesterday I fished Sam's Lakes with the TVA bag and the pellet cone. Today I'm just going to go through my rigs and how, we, how I made the bags etc just to give you a bit more insight for anyone that hasn't done it or anyone that wants to brush up. As I said in the video I'm still learning these bits and pieces myself and it's like anything it's all about practice, practice, practice. Um, had a good day yesterday to be fair with the weather I could have fished the method it, it did get up to 12 degrees with a bright sunny day and they just wanted a bait parcel um, but it's not to say that it isn't a great, great winter tactic. So I will be doing a second PVA video when it starts to really cool off, just to show the effectiveness of these two great of these two great methods. So I'm just going to go through the bits and pieces that made my rigs yesterday. So my main line was six pound Guru drag line, and coupled to this, I was using a the new inline X Safe one third of an ounce leads. I did go up to an ounce for the longer chuck to the further island away, but generally all, most of my fish came on this close to the nearest island to me. What I did personally is took the little inline stem out, which is a soft rubber stem, and I replaced it with an X-Safe type stem like the, like on this one here. So with the white like white hydro type elastic in there. Um, I prefer that if when I started to get, if I was getting bigger fish, I would step up to the black. Um, if, or if I felt it was just it was taking me a bit too long to get the fish in. But definitely in winter, I would always use the white just to cushion and make sure I get every single fish in. Um, these leads are really, really good as well. Uh, this is two third of an ounce, and this is what I was using yesterday as well um, when I was just chucking in between. So uh, from the, moving on from the lead itself, I was using QM14 to seven pound Guru N-Gage line. Um, ready-made 15 inch hook lengths. I do make my own sometimes, but I just find these, these are so well done. I've never had one break on me. Um, I trust them completely in my fishing. So for ease, and when I just wanted to get out yesterday for a couple of hours, I grabbed a couple of spools that these I've always got home, and it was easy to make the rig. So making the rig, I'm basically tying an overhand loop in my main line, or sometimes I'll do a twizzled loop as well, just for extra strength. I use that more so in summer. Attaching it to the top of the X-Safe connector, which is this little loop here. You just hook your loop on, pull. Obviously, the cap's already on the main line. Put the cap back over, and then it's just a case of attaching your hook length. So this is a small method hook length, but I've just got it so I can show you easier on the video. So there's your little loop. It's just speed stop. You just pull the little pull the pull that little connector out through the rubber sleeve. Hook it on. Push it back in. And that's it, you're literally ready to fish. And that's exactly the same on my actual, this is one of my rigs I was using yesterday. So you can see that's my lead and 15 inch hook length, complete with an eight mil pellet on the end. So that's as easy as the rig was. Uh, it's exactly the same for the pellet cone, exactly the same rig, no difference. We're just fishing the cone over the bag. But I will show you how I make the cones in another video, as a, obviously in the, in, the, in the cone video. So thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna do a bit of in-tank footage just to sh obviously show you what the bags look like in the water and with my little top tip, which is the goo, and also how I make the bags as well.
Okay. So making the bags, just to run you through a few bits and pieces, I use the Guru PBA Speed Mesh, which is all comes complete in this lovely waterproof little tube. And you get your plunger, your PVA mesh and the funnel for loading the pellets into, into this end, which you then compress down with, with your plunger. And that these are really, really good. I have used ESP in the past, but I just find these, even in winter months, this mesh goes off pretty quick. So you're not waiting for it, just in case you are getting quick bites on a cold day. So definitely one for, I would recommend, been using it probably for about two and a half, three years now. Um, and, I, and I can't fault it. So really, really good stuff. That's the Guru PBA Speed Mesh, available at all tackle shops. So if, if, you're not into, if you've not done this before, or you're having problems with your current mesh, give this stuff a go. You won't be disappointed, guys. All right. The bags I was using yesterday were this sort of size here. So you can see they're the size, basically, of a little toss pot that I've got here. And that's what I used to quantify how much pellet I'm putting into each bag. So and that's a top tip to make sure you get the same size bags every time is use a little toss pot or a bottle cap when it's really cold. Something that you're comfortable with to get the same size pellet bags over and over and over again. That's, that's one of my top tips there, guys. So as you can see, that, that's my nicely tight sprung bag all ready to go. So now I'm going to show you how we make the bags. So guys, so to make my PVA bags, aka the tea bag, it's really, really simple. So I've taken the loading tube out of the container tube of the PVA speed mesh. I've got my little toss pot that I use to load. Fill it right up to the top with the four mil and two mil pellets in there. Pour it into the tube. Take your plunger. Holding down on the side of the PVA mesh with your thumb and your finger, gently just push and let the mesh slide through your fingers as you compress down to form the shape of the bag. Once you're there, pull the plunger back, grab hold of your pellets in the bag, take your plunger out, just take a bit of this extra mesh off, pinch the top of the bag where your PVA mesh is at the top, spin it round about, I do it about six times, give it a little push, just a little tap to make sure it's nice and tight. I'll just give it a couple more spins just to make sure it's really, really tight. And it's an overhand, overhand loop. So overhand loop, straight through, through the bag. Keep your fingers near the knot at the bottom. This is to make sure you get a really, really tight bag. So just keep that knot nice and tight, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, until it gets right to the very bottom. And there you go. One bag ready to go. Take your scissors. Just trim your tag end nice and short. And there we go. One PVA bag, guys, ready to go. Simple as that. Little overhand loop, not sorry, straight back in your PVA mesh. Pull the stock in back up, ready to go. Straight again and repeat. And the best thing to do is with these, keep it in a watertight tub. You can do it at home. Might wind the wife up with a smell or drive your dogs or animals wild because these cell pellets are using absolutely reek, but in a nice way, not a horrible way. Um, so yeah, get out there guys and give give this a go. I'm going to show you what in the next clip I'm going to show you what they look like in the tank. All right Okay, guys, so with my rig what I've done is put a three inch hook length on just so you get a fit in the tank properly Just for the demo purposes just to show you what it's like. I've got an eight mil Mainline dumbbell wafter on there, which is what caught me quite a few fish yesterday between this and the eight mil pellet These were, were go-to baits that did the damage so as I said before in, the, in my video, a lot of people have separate hook lengths ready and draw them through the bag using a latch type gate needle. I do that quite a lot, but I'm still very comfortable. If you hook the bag properly on here, and when the speed this mesh breaks down, it, it's not a massive difference, but that's my personal opinion. So it's just get in the bag, hook it through the mesh, just as simple as that. Turn the hook a couple of times, spin the bag on the hook a couple of times, and then put the hook back through the mesh again. So it's double hook basically. And then as you can see there, that's all ready to go for you, all ready to go. So let's pop this in the tank and let's have a little look. Okay guys, so I'm gonna introduce the PVA bag into the tank now so you can see what happens.
go. That's the waft that just popped off. Bag's starting to break up now. I've used really, really cold water in this because I wanted to see how long it takes. So I've left this water outside overnight so it is really cold. And there's the bag opening up, blowing apart, letting the two and four mil pellets explode. And as you can see, top of the pile is a dumbbell waiting to be hoovered up. All right, guys, let's have a look at one with the goo on. There you go, guys. You can just see it's just leaching off the pellets. Now, no one can tell me that doesn't look inviting to a carp. And the way that wafter's just hovering there, as you can see, perfect. And there's the other one earlier from the first one. Perfect as well. Okay guys, there you go, there's some in-tank footage for you, I hope you find that helpful.